Hi guys, I just want to show you in this video how to make an electrical contactor switch. Here's a contactor here, it's a 40 amp contactor. This will switch off electrically from these switches here. So, instead of having a big disconnect switch, and if your power is coming from the solders, it's not that big, this should do you fine. And these are the tools you need. Strippers for stripping your cable, a meter, and a crimper for your lugs. So I'm just going to show you how to crimp it on the blue side. If you can see that. And a good squeeze. show you how I did it. So there's my plug runs all the way up to my switch. Which is here. It's very easy to do. So there's your power coming from the plug. Sorry about the mess. The power from coming from the plug up here going in. And it's linked on from here into layer one of the contactor. So I split the two neutrals. So one neutral will go in here, and one neutral will go in here. So you switch the switch, it's just breaking the feed how simple that is and then I will put my cables come from my, my solar panel in here and one down there and that will break the feed coming from the solar panels as you can see the diagram there I'm just trying to focus it you have A1 A2 is your your power the lock on contactor and you have one, three, two and four is your contactors. They're your mains that will break the feed coming from your solar panel. I'll show you it all when the switch is lighting up and I turn on the contactor. Here's the end off. result. I'm gonna have mine switched on so when I want the uh, contactor to be pulled on the red light will come on and stay on. As you can see the contactor is red, it shows that it's energized. Now released, now flip the switch, the contact is off. And on again. Very simple and very effective. And very neat. It'll have a very nice install, very neat install when you use these contactors. I have them already done, so I'll just show you how to wire them. I'll put it back in and I'll show you it working. And here's the final product. It's on now, energized off and unenergized so it's just a nice neat setup to have here instead of having a nice layer switch somewhere so this is a nice neat keeps everything nice and neat out of the way so you can't see anything so I think it's nice and handy to be done so hopefully it helps some of you out there and here is the overall look of the insulation once that contactor is in as you can see it's nice and neat makes your insulation Nice and neat. As you can hear, you might be able to hear it working. And it's off and on.